Well, we're joined here by TKO Boy. How are you today? Yay, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Yep, I'm doing great as well. Now, your new song is called Breathe. How would yeah. you describe that song? Oh, man, especially in this time. <laughs> like, sometimes it's so hard to just, you know, have our day to day. Like, people losing family members and losing jobs. And just sometimes you got to sit back and breathe and just, you know, allow God to make some moves for you. Oh, yeah, that's so true. Do you think this is definitely a song that we need right now two years into a pandemic oh without a doubt without a doubt my friend yeah and also i see on the music video it's got all sorts of different people in it really hasn't it that i guess we can all relate absolutely. to at least one of them absolutely yes absolutely that was the goal to see like all sorts of different perspectives yeah and um to know that we are going through something, you know, big or small. Yeah. And actually on the video as well, I guess it's probably you and one other person playing music on a balcony in the middle of a city, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That was actually my dad. Oh, that's pretty cool. And uh, we were, it was uh, the drop uh, the drop of Milan. Hmm. So that was behind us. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So where did the inspiration for the song actually come from? Was it the pandemic or is that may be a little bit of a coincidence man you know it's crazy um it's all the pandemic as well yeah um I, I was working in the hospital setting and um man this this lady for one she kind of like passed out in my arms for a minute mm. and i was asking the nurse like hey is, is she there and she's like oh yeah she's just resting and um you know when she got up she was just like we gotta go we gotta go so i got her back to her room and she was just like breathe breathe at the at the moment i already had the song made mm. and and um, I said, I got a song for you. And she was just so excited to hear it. She's like, where can I get this? I was like, it's in the progress of coming out right now. So I kept in touch with her. I sent her the video link and everything. She's so happy. Um, uh, the actual song, um, I ended up losing my sister back in November of 2019. And um, with all this pandemic and everything going on, um, it was just like, okay, no matter how hard it is, we're going to breathe. We're going to just kind of, you know, collect ourselves and just, I'm very faithful, man. So I was like, God's going to work in my life and just let him do his thing. Yeah, that's so important because breathing can help relieve stress. And it sounds a bit silly, but sometimes we forget to breathe. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And how would you describe the musical style of it as well? Well, this um, I kind of took from my dad's roots. Like he's more of a jazz musician and... Um, I like the fact that it was like really mellow and chill. So I was like, I'm going to add some of my flavor, which is hip hop and R&B into that and um, just kind of make something that everybody can enjoy, hopefully. Oh, yeah, definitely. And have you recorded this during the pandemic? I take it you have, right? <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So how's that been for you? Man, it's it's been tough. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I just kind of was like, we're going to go ahead and push. Mm. And no matter what happens, hey, let's just let it let it go. Let God work. And, you you know, we're just going to we're going to make some lives better, hopefully, mm. you know, as tough as it may be. Um, just know that we're here for each other, you know. Yeah. And you actually produced your first album yourself. Is that this album or was that one before that? No, it's actually the one before that. Um, mm. It was called So Thankful. And um, it <sighs> It was just everybody was showing me so much love and gratitude. They're like, oh my gosh, you're so great. And I'm just like, I'm very humble. I'm just like, I appreciate it. There's more to come, you know. Mm. I'm very thankful for all the love and support. And um, it kind of entailed like almost the same message Breathe was sending. Yeah. But um the song kind of stated like the the main song, So Thankful for the album, was stating um, you know, storm clouds and rain may be in our way, but we're so thankful for sunny days. It yeah. was like, you know, we go through those storms and um yeah. Yeah. And was that album um, during the pandemic as well or before that was before that was yeah. 2019 yeah so you were actually already producing yourself before <laughs> the pandemic you were ahead of the trend because most yes. musicians <laughs> now have sort of became producers during lockdown because they've had to produce themselves exactly absolutely i've been kind of producing my own music since like oh good gracious probably 2016 2017 wow yeah and um 
like full on production. And now I'm pushing more than ever. I think I kind of fell into my pocket and I have that deliverance that um, I think everybody could enjoy. So, mm, yeah. And would you say that you're quite a good producer? You know, it'd probably be kind of pointless to go and hire somebody else. <laughs> I, yeah. You know what? I'm at that point. Mm. Um, I talked to some actually producers in Hollywood and stuff went down there. They want me to produce for them. So it was like, yeah. OK, I think I'm on the right track. Yeah, that's true. Because, you know, if the music you're making fails or whatever you've got producing to fall back on which is still quite absolutely. fun absolutely yeah. absolutely but I don't think it's gonna fail for the record <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it yeah. thank you and what actually got you into music in the first place back in the day man it would have to be my dad mm. like just listening to all the jazz like he'd just like play the guitar and I'd end up knocking out because I was so small but yeah. he'd play the guitar he'd rock out or or just like smooth or blues he, he's so versatile in um, everything he does and he actually came out with a book um, I'm My Mother's Child and um, all of these accomplishments that he accomplished kind of pushed me to accomplish a lot more in my life as well mm, Yeah, that's interesting and was there a point where you had a big break or is it sort of just as an independent artist you don't really have a break I suppose it's just whenever you decide to release something and that's it sort of You know what's crazy um, I've had a lot of record deals um, Atlantic, mm. Sony, Warner Brother wow. they all all kind of like sent, yeah <laughs> they've all sent me um record deals and i'm just kind of at the point where okay i can do what they're kind of helping me do i just need the promotion the um the management and uh just kind of like give me placements for like different venues and stuff that's my three main goals yeah so have you accepted any of them then i have not at the moment mm, that's interesting do you think that you will eventually or do you sort of like the freedom maybe of being independent <laughs> i do enjoy the freedom of being independent in it, but um, I know what labels do provide. Yeah. I'm just waiting for somebody to provide um, a decent deal for each of us, mm. not like a 60, 70, oh, uh, yeah. 20 or 30, you know? Yeah, that's true. And when you're not making music as well, do you do anything else in your spare time that's fun? Oh man, I do all sorts of crazy stuff. <laughs> um, I enjoy sports for one thing. Oh yeah. Um, that's my main thing. I like gaming. Um, it's a big gaming community right now. Um, I just enjoy so many different like avenues. Yeah, absolutely. That's fun. And in terms of future works, have you got any more singles coming out on this current album, Timeless, oh. and maybe even songs after that? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Timeless itself, um, that song will be dropping. Um, I can't really announce when that's coming out, but yeah. uh, it entailed when, when you listen to like Average White Band, um, Earth, Wind & Fire, or, you know, Led Zeppelin, all these other artists and stuff, like, they are timeless music. Yeah. You know? So, um, uh, there's so many I didn't mention, but I'm just saying, like, when you're listening to them, okay, they have their sound and everybody loves to, like, vibe with these people and stuff. And so, I was like, you know what? It's time to make timeless music. I made a lot of mm -hmm. hip-hop stuff, some good R&B music, but it's the timeless stuff that lasts forever. And um, I'm trying to make an impact in, in that direction. Yeah, that's so true. It's an interesting idea, having a album called Timeless and actually Absolutely. the current song Breathe is timeless because although <laughs> we're living in difficult times and it's particularly relevant right now I think yes. to an extent we've always been living in difficult times in a way <laughs> haven't we? Uh, yeah absolutely yes sir. <laughs> yeah well where are we able to check out all the music that you have released so far and in particular the latest song Breathe? The latest song Breathe is on all platforms every single one Spotify, title deezer apple everything you name it um all my other stuff uh as well i think so thankful album is on every single platform um some of my latest mixtape stuff however would be on youtube um you can check it out there also i have my own website which is tkoboi.com where you can put your email in and join the fan list and you'll be updated on when shows are happening um new merch coming out and uh, a whole bunch of other crazy stuff i can't wait to show you guys great well, thanks very much for dropping by today. It's been great to have you on. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it.